Now, there are some growers out there that say that the terpene profile for organically grown plants is better than with plants grown with synthetic fertilizers. Is there any truth to that, or is that just a myth? As a scientist, I, I just say the data points in this direction. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say that's a myth, but I would say we don't have any good evidence to support it. And in spite of looking, we, we can't ever say it would never happen, but we don't have any evidence to support it. Um, as a general principle, terpenes and cannabinoids both are what we call secondary metabolites. That means they're not, the plants don't have to make them. The plant will grow just fine without them. But they, they, uh, the plants make secondary metabolites like lignin, make to, so they stand up straight and be tough. That's a secondary metabolite. You could grow a plant with all cellulose. So here's these secondary metabolites. And we know that if you stress plants, precision stress plants, they often make more secondary metabolites. So what that means is precision stress could lead to more terpenes. And especially precision stress can lead to more cannabinoids. Now, this is a very active area of research in my lab right now, precision stress of, of plants to improve quality. So when you make a broad, when someone makes a broad statement, organics improve terpenes, well, what's the mechanism for that? And there is a potential mechanism if the plants were slightly stressed, but it's the stress that improved the terpenes, not the organics per se. So now we look at refining it. So that's, that's why I call this precision stress rather than just, just general stress. It's just the right amount of stress in the right way at the right time. So when I, I've no doubt people have done studies like this. When I say people and studies, I mean growers have done a comparison. That's a better way to put it. And they might have seen more terpenes. And often, if, if they don't are not have a background in the scientific method. They don't repeat the study. They just make one observation. And then they're sure that organic nutrients increase terpenes. And they make announcements and they're just sure of it. And boy, can you get into trouble as a scientist if you make some announcement and you're wrong, your re reputation goes right in the toilet. So all you ever say is the data indicates this. And we've repeated it four times, and here's the here's the difference. We also can say here's the mechanism by which this happens, not just an observation. Um, one of the analogies I've used sometimes is uh, planting at the full moon. And a hundred years ago in agriculture, that was a thing. You should plant at the full moon. You'll you'll get better yields. And of course, that's been studied and what's the mechanism of that you know there is no mechanism but probably what it was is people could see better at the full moon so they've got the spacing right but there wasn't there's no mechanism for a value of planting at the full moon so because there's no mechanism we think the observations are just random chance this clip is brought to you by ac infinity use discount code mr grow at 15 to save on any of their products Thank you.